guys, what is up? It's your boy Officer K, so I'm back with another LSPDFR video. How you guys doing? Today we're going to be patrolling in the New Orleans Police Department. We're going to be in the 7th District Task Force. Um, we're going to be patrolling in the uh, International Airport area around Cypress Flats and like the docks and everything so we're gonna be in the 7th district um this is my partner right here we're doing an early morning patrol uh just basically starting sh starting our shift so I gotta grab my arm out there okay now I gotta uh grab my uh rifle out there as well too just in case for anything go down so and there's my rifle so yeah we're gonna be patrolling the 7th district and stuff we're gonna take this uh for intercepted utility um we're probably like like I said we're gonna um probably take like some serious call outs and stuff like that um it's pretty much it, yeah. So we're gonna let dispatch know we're ten eight or available. Dispatch show me ten eight. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go from there. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new or anything. Comment down below. Wow. Just in touch shift. Okay, so we got a carjacking. It says a vehicle is a graphite of war warner, I think that's what it's pronounced. I'm not good with names and stuff, so I apologize for that, but we got a carjacking we're responding to. Uh, I know it's been a while since I uh, did a patrol uh, episode, guys. I know I do apologize. I know it's been a while. Um, I'm still having lag with the game and stuff. Um, I know it's been a while, but uh, I was in the 80s and stuff. Um, at some point, I postponed and put everything on hold. Um, I gotta, I definitely gotta get back to the 80s. Um, I gotta do a LAPD patrol episode for somebody and. I probably got to do like a, a San Francisco as well and a Baton Rouge Police Department too. Um, I didn't forget, like I said, I know it's been a while since I played the game and stuff, so I do apologize for that. But um, I will definitely uh, get back into making more videos and stuff for you guys. So I know, you know, I know it's been a while, but just bear with me if y'all get the idea, but that's the problem I'm having, so... I'm trying to fix that but we're about to respond to this carjack and um we're gonna uh show our lights have our lights on and we're gonna um find these uh uh armed perpetrators these uh uh 64g perpetrator it must have been a carjacking like a uh uh uh, arm like arm carjacking in other words like the person must have had a gun and held him at gunpoint and told him to get out the car and stuff like that so that's what really going on by the way we're using agency call out um I finally was able to get it to work again finally um my next episode I am going to do a SWAT team patrol episode on doing high-risk warrants and stuff and I think that's our vehicle okay wait wait what's the vehicle is that the... I thought that was a vehicle at first I'm like wait hold up so I'm trying to figure out what vehicle are we basically going I think I see it now I think I see it Bob 18, we are in a pursuit. We're chasing after a 64G perpetrator involving a carjacking. 
Oh, I need more units. Okay, they crash. All right, let's get them out the car. So we're in the third district. We uh got the uh perpetrator out the car. Stop! Put your hands up. Hey, hey. All right, we're in a foot pursuit. She's one of the, so it might be two perpetrators. All right, you stop. I'll move. Okay. Oh, they got the other perpetrator. Perpetrator right there. So that's one of the uh, other perpetrators right here. So the perpetrator, they're trying to get the perpetrator. What happened is. Ah, uh, I see what it is. He must have kidnapped the herd. The uh, chick right there. Uh, come on, partner. Hold up, man. I'm trying to move the car out the way. Alright. We're in a foot pursuit. Alright, don't move, bro. Don't move. It's over, bro. Do not move. 518, we got the purple shirt at gunpoint. Okay, so we got him in custody. So there's going to be a code for. Okay, so to the best of my knowledge, if I could really think, um, that chick down there, she probably must have been the victim, I think. And he must have kidnapped her, so I think I'm going to probably release her. She's the victim at this moment. And, yeah, that's probably what happened. Alright. Say, bro, do you have anything illegal on you, bro? I totally forgot. What are you doing, bro? Do I really need to answer that? Uh, yes, you do, because you were running from the police, bro. And then you kidnapped somebody. Where you come from, bro? I prefer not to say, okay, that's okay, that's your right. Um, have you been drinking, bro? I am not a fan of alcohol, okay. Have you done drugs recently? Never, I promise, okay, okay. Um, well, at this moment, man, you got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't will be used against you in the court of law. You the right to an appointment if you can't afford the court appointment for you. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me at this moment? Yes. Do you understand your rights as I explain them to you? This is some bullshit, okay. Well, do you understand what I have explained to you? Yes, officer, okay. So, my man, you're going to be charged. I'm charging with the following. Uh, we got a, a 65P uh, purse snatching. We can take that call. Um, we, we're in a different district. We're going to charge you with felony invasion of law enforcement officer. This guy out checking out what the deal is with him. So he has a stolen police Glock pistol. He has a gun, a handgun permit, a condom, a vibrator, and a citation ticket. All right, so we got a pet check on him. Charlie Steps, license valid, not like the warrant. So. He kidnapped the other chick, so to my knowledge, that chick, she was basically running for her life. She was the victim, so I'm going to release her or whatever. Search the vehicle, see what he got. Uh, a yearbook with class of 1988 on it and a violin. Okay, nothing interesting, all right? So we're going to charge him. He has a stolen police Glock, so to my knowledge, what I'm thinking, he must have... Stole uh, he he like I said he must have carjacked the uh victim carjacked the uh somebody she was a passenger she must have got kidnapped or whatever and he drove off with a hell you know at gunpoint so we're gonna charge him with the uh following so uh I'm gonna release you miss I apologize you know Cause I thought you was a uh, perpetrator, so I'm gonna release you for a second. Just stay for a second. All right, bro. So I read your rights. 
Um, you do have a police pistol on you. You stole it. I don't know why would you have a stolen police gun in the first place. Um, let me kill my siren for a second. So, damn, Kabian had to do that. Like, did y'all you, you, you see how he backed up like that? That was terrible. Alright, so there is no evidence. Okay, make sure the pet owner vehicle where you found is still on the scene. Okay. Uh, hold up, bro. Hold up. Because like I said, he got the gun. He got a, a stolen police pistol. He got a police pistol on him, so he stole it. He stole it. It's it, it, it reported stolen. It's a stolen police Glock. So now what we gonna have to do is I'm gonna um, check it again. I want to make sure it's not letting me check. It's stolen, so we're gonna we'll just put the charges in and then we'll let him be on his way. Response to that. Hopefully, this officer can take him. Oh, he'll take him. <clears throat> and for the victim, for her, uh, I do apologize, ma'am. Um, I do apologize. Do you need any medical attention, ma'am? Yes, sir. I need a ride to the hospital. Okay, so. Yeah, so it's pretty much it. Um, I would ask her for a statement. I wish it was a way where they could, like, if they'll give you, like, a statement on what happened. That would be kind of cool, like, they do that. So, request an ambulance. She wanna go to the hospital. So I'm gonna go ahead and we will tow his vehicle and then we're gonna respond to that 65p uh purse snatching. Uh we're in a different jurisdiction, so I mean when it when a different this is not a district area, we're in the third district. I gotta do a patrol out here and on and Puerto El Sol and uh, Vespucci and all that, but like I said, we're in the seventh district. So, look, check it out. Another officer doing that. Okay, so this uh 65P is reported in here. There she is. They go to victim. Where he at? He stole your purse. All right, we're gonna go after him. Five eighteen. We got a report of a sixty-five P. The perpetrator stole the victim's purse. Okay, he fled on foot, so we're gonna head down there. We're gonna catch the perpetrator, and I think I see him. Right, I need some more units on here. Requesting backup. Hey. All right, we're in a full pursuit, full pursuit. 14 is going to be a white female wearing a purple top, green shorts, fled and westbound on Palmetto Avenue. Hey, hey. Whoa. She stabbed me. See, that's what happened when you do that. Drop it. You wanna die? You better stop. That's enough. She got that knife. So it's gonna be aggravated assault. A 95k. Alright, we got a code 4 on her. What is your problem, miss? I know, right? You see that, huh? Alright, miss. You, you made things difficult. Um... What are you doing, miss? 
I don't need to answer that. Well, you you decide to pull out a knife, you could kill me. You, you almost you you lucky you almost didn't get your head blown off like that. Where did you come from? I was at class. Oh really? You have anything illegal on you? Were you playing evidence on me? No. Nope. Part of pattern? So it report that it's a 65 piece. She stole a purse. We'll see what it is. Um, she has a pipe with brown powder residue, fentanyl, a plane ticket, and a pipe with tan powder residue. Her name is Jessica Hill. Okay, Miss Hill. Can I get a pet check on a Jessica Hill? 42801. License valid, no active warrants. Alright. So we're going to put her in our car. We're going to take her back to our vehicle. And we're going to do the field test. We're going to take her back to our district station. But first, we got to uh, bring her to our vehicle, and then we got to get the uh, item and retrieve it back. I didn't find it on her, so I have a feeling um, she must have dissed the purse or whatever. But she do got some drugs on her. So we're going to take her. All right. Come on, partner. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> So we're gonna re head back to the scene. 518, we're gonna report back to the scene of where the crime took place. Okay, so we're gonna meet back up with our victim. And we're gonna um bring back her, her purse that this other uh that the subject had took from her. And that's that, so Okay. Here you go. Here you go, miss. Here's your purse. You're very welcome. She's going to jail, alright? So we got her in custody. Okay, so we're going to report back to our district station. We're going to head back to our station. And we're going to um go ahead and take it from there. So the victim, she can go on her morning. We're gonna um be en route back to the uh, seventh district station. A uh, five eight ten. We're en route back to the uh, seventh district station with the uh, perpetrator. Okay, so we're gonna head back. So yeah, if you guys enjoying this uh, episode, this uh, video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I know it's been a while, guys. I know I do apologize. I keep doing New Orleans Police, but you got to understand, New Orleans is my hometown. I love my city, New Orleans. Uh, I love the police department. Um, Great department and stuff, you know. Uh, It's a lot, you know. It's a lot to it. I got to do different um, police departments, like... I ain't gonna lie, the one main police department I kinda wanna do is the Las Vegas PD. And I kinda wanna do like a uh, Cincinnati uh, patrol too. So I have, and that's another thing, I created the uniforms for, for each of these police departments. But I just don't, you know what I'm saying? I just haven't got the time and chance to be able to do it. You know, because I have a uh, NOPD and all that installed, so I'm like, you know, why what the hell? But I will get back into doing a episode like that, y'all. I will do like a LAPD, like I said, I'm supposed to be in my 1980s, I was in the 80s, but then I had problems because, well, I'm gonna tell y'all the real re main reasons why I kind of came back and why I didn't finish up the 80s. The main reason was because um, they got this vehicle that uh, New Orleans police used in like the 1980s. This is a full Crown Victoria with a uh, light bar. And a light bar on the vehicle that they used in the early 80s was the uh, twin sonic uh, light bar. The, the big rectangular rotating light bar.
and they used that from like the 70s until like the early 80s and stuff like that so it was like you know I have that vehicle but the only problem is is not ELS and you know I'm waiting for like my buddy to like finish it up like finish creating it so it's, it's been on hold so that's pretty much why I'm basically just waiting on for him to like just uh, finish the vehicle up for me so I can be able to use it in the um, episode okay so we're here in the station where uh, we got the perpetrator we're gonna call a transport unit for her too to bring her to central lockup alright you can step out the car miss so my partner gonna pass you down again he gonna pass you down and see what she got and we'll just go from there Okay, pipe, a pipe with brown powder residue, fentanyl, and a pipe with tank powder residue. So she probably might have marijuana on her. She'll be charged with fentanyl too, so. Uh, we'll do a field test on the narcotics. And we're doing the pipe with brown powder residue. So it could be marijuana, negative. If it's like weed, I'll probably write them like a citation or whatever. Cause to me, weed, weed isn't, weed ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so she got heroin. Uh, so she got heroin, fentanyl, and she got marijuana. So I stand corrected. She do got weed on her. So we're just charged with the possession of heroin and possession of fentanyl. Okay, Jessica Hill, she's never been arrested. She got citation history, so we'll charge her with we'll some the charges and there we have it. So she got seven charges. Oh, I almost about to forget in her marijuana citation, so yeah. For the narcotics, position marijuana less than twenty grams or whatever so she got that okay Miss Hill you have the right to remain silent anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law you have the right to an appointment if you can afford the call appointment for you alright so you're gonna be charged with the following here's your citation I'm giving you a citation for a hundred dollar citation for the possession of marijuana you'll be charged with the possession of heroin possession of uh, fentanyl on um, flight from officers stolen property etc alright so you uh, you'll be booked to the county jail so as Paris jail I don't want to go to jail well you have no choice you did it so you're going to jail Another officer is going to transport you. Why can't you take me, sir? Because I have other things I have to take care of. So I can't transport you, alright? Alright? So another officer is going to transport you to Central Lockup. And that's that. So we got another unit right here. They're going to um, take her. Take her to Central Lockup. She gonna have to jump over. Now I don't know how she gonna be able to get her over this leg. She gonna have to go all the way around. It's gonna be kind of hard. So we're gonna have to go ahead. We're gonna move on to the next call. And that's about it. Come on, partner. Let's go ahead up on our little patrol. And we'll let this person know we are ten eight. This way, show me 10 8. Ooh, we got a high risk warrant. Okay. So, the one person is wanted for kidnapping. Could be armed and dangerous. So, we're going to go there and we're going to try to find this uh, individual. That's another thing, too. We're going to. Uh, do like high risk warrants for like when we do like the SWAT episode 
when we do like SWAT patrol, we're gonna um do like high risk warrants and take warrants and stuff like that with the SWAT. Um, to my knowledge, I think I'm not. If I don't know if it's true, but I know like in the '90s, I think Nuance Police or uh, Task Force officers used to do like a uh, a uh, warrant, search warrants and stuff like that. I don't know if SWAT did it or whatever, but I know it was like the. I think it was a task. Well, it might have been SWAT, but now nowadays the SWAT team they do uh, high risk ones. They might get uh, help from task force officers as well. Five eighteen. We are on scene. We are looking for the perpetrator. Okay. Five eighteen. Requesting code two backup. Ah, uh, this book dispatch. Requesting code two backup. There we go. All right. I don't see the perpetrator. Okay. What's happening with it, bro? All right. So look, check this out. We got a, a perpetrator. We got called. Um, this perpetrator we're looking for, he could be armed and dangerous, so be on the lookout for him. I'm gonna have my guns drawn, have it out. So let's be ready. He could be hiding, so we we don't know where he could be at, he could be hiding. So we gotta be prepared and be ready. He'll come on and start shooting at the police or whatever. And we don't even know. Y'all be on the lookout. So yeah, we uh, we're basically at the uh, we're at the uh stadium, the Superdome or whatever you want to call it, and we got a call for this perpetrator. He could be hiding around and we don't know. He'll come on and start blasting at us. Knowing that the police looking for him. So I think he's supposed to be a white male, I think. A white male perpetrator. Requesting SWAT. Request SWAT. Oh, I need SWAT. So we call it SWAT. Oh, there he, there you go. Whoa. Hey, y'all see him? Hey, drop that weapon. Five eighteen, the perpetrator is down. Damn. Okay, we got NOPD SWAT tactical out here. There they go, SWAT. All right, we need ambulance over here ASAP. So that's ninety five G. All right, so we got the pistol. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh do CPR on him. I appreciate y'all coming out, man. See, I told y'all we was gonna be ambushed, so we gotta uh hold back and see what we can get. Hopefully, we'll be able to save him. Most of the time, when you shoot them. Sometimes your CPR may work, sometimes may not. And CPR is successful. So he will be charged and booked with attempted murder of a police officer. Bruh, don't move. One done move, asshole. You're going to get dropped. All right? 518, we got the perpetrator at gunpoint. We're about to arrest him. Okay. 
All right, we are good. So we got them. Look, I appreciate y'all for coming out. All right, so we got them. Bring them back to the car. Uh, we're gonna let uh SWAT go ahead on a patrol. Go ahead about their business, and then we'll go from there. All right. Alright, bro. Do you have anything illegal on you, bro? I totally forgot. Alright, bro. So, look. Let me tell you. I'm Officer Slim with the Norms Police Department 7th District Task Force. Alright? Uh, so, can you uh, tell me what's going on here, bro? What exactly do you mean? Because you technically pull out a gun. And you know we was coming after you. Uh... Oh, yo. Oh, snap. Get his ass. Oh, snap. <laughs> yo. yo. Bruh. That's crazy, man. Y'all better catch him. I can't leave him. Hopefully, they'll be able to get him. All right, so I got to I got to get back to him. All right, we got a unit coming. Like, bro, going to try to break in the car. You see the police right here. Why would you break in the car? All right, bro. Let's see. So I know he had a gun on him. He he had the pistol. A grenade and PCP. Chase J. Mason. License valid no actor one. So you don't have a warrant. Okay. Ain't that something? Yo, they still catching him? Or catching her? Yo, that's crazy. Oh, they got her. They perfect. They got her. Awesome. So they got the perpetrator. They got they caught the perpetrator. Good. All right. So the so that's good. That's a good feeling right there. They got the other perpetrator. All right. Have a seat in the car, bro. So he has a grenade. He has PCP on him. He doesn't have a warrant for his arrest. I don't know why I come back flag that they have a warrant. All right. So we're gonna check the pistol. Cause he have it on him. See if it's illegal carrying. It's valid, so he has a pistol. But it didn't come back stolen or anything. So that's the other perpetrator. So he has a gun, no gun permit. So we're charging with uh, a temporary on police officer. All right. Like I said, that was that was just crazy, y'all. For for all that to happen, like, bro, all that for no reason. That was just crazy. I mean, just came out of nowhere. You see the police right there doing a work. Why would you steal a car when the police is right there? Like that ain't make no sense. So I don't know where the other officer is. Hopefully he'll come. He'll come and then he'll probably bring the up. Uh, he probably got the other perpetrator to bring it to us uh, central lockup. So we'll get back on patrol. Five eighteen, show me code four and ten eight. Okay, so we're gonna head back to uh We got a drug dealer right here. This dude loitering. We're gonna see what the deal is with him. He's standing in the middle of the street. He 
Most of the times around in here, we'll get like uh, drug activities, stuff going on. Alright. Come on, bro. Get a pet check on you, bro. Lights of right knocked the warrants. You drug seller, huh? Hold on. Oh, God. All right, so we're gonna stop him and stop. The reason being, I'm pushing him back is because. See what it is. I hate the fact that I don't know why would they took it, but if y'all can see when y'all press G, right? You notice how before it had the option where you can stop the pad and then it'll automatically stop. It don't have it on. It just says, uh, ask the pad to go. It don't have it on anymore. So I have to push him back. So I have to do it the old school way by pushing him back like far from a partner because if I press like. If y'all look down here, right? Y'all gonna see how it says stop. One move and I, drop. I can handcuff him and everything, see? Thanks. See? See how my partner came? See, that's why. Okay. Better chill. I'm trying to handcuff him. See, there we go. And see, that's why I hate this animation, see? See, look, see how I, how I did that? I don't know why I did that. You bore me. That's off. why I have to push him back for that to happen. I mean, I like this animation where you can check and see if they have anything illegal on them, like the drugs or whatever. So he's drug selling or whatever. Oh, you can't do this to me. Don't fucking trap me. Let's oh, go. shut up, man. I'm tired of hearing him. Alright, bro. You got anything illegal on you, bro? Alright, so we're gonna pat him down. He ain't trying to let me uh pat him down and stuff, huh? What in the name of Come on man, back up, man. He all up in the way. Bro, what is you doing? He got a knife on him. Alright, that's all he had. I'm giving you a warning. Move aside. Break it up. <laughs> Bro, this shit funny. Did y'all see that my partner try to try to draw? <laughs> Alright, so we gonna he gonna pat him down, make sure. So he has a knife on him and stuff. Most of the time they have drugs on them and stuff, so we gotta find it, make sure. Oh, he has a handgun, illegal carrying. Okay, you the right to remain solid. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You the right to upon ten if you can afford the call upon for you. You understand your rights, my man. All right. Uh, having these rights in mind. Uh, do you wish to talk to me at this moment, huh? Huh? Yes. Do you understand what I explained to you? No, sir. I do not. So, bro. So, me and my partner, when we pulled up, we observed you loitering. So, we figured you maybe attempted to sell drugs or whatever. We didn't find the drugs on you or anything. The narcotics or anything. But we found the knife and we found a gun on you. So, you'll be charged with illegal carrying, right? So, you got the gun on you. We'll charge you with it and that's that. And we're gonna see if the gun come back stolen or anything. We don't know. We have to see. We're gonna get a uh, serial check on it, valid. But he is still it's still illegal carrying him, even though the status valid, like it didn't come back stolen or anything. He's still gonna be charged with illegal carrying. So we we'll hit him with the following. Uh. He wasn't selling drugs or anything, so we'll just hit him with uh, illegal carrying. 
and that's pretty much gonna be his charges. I mean, can't hit him with drug. You know what I'm saying? We can't hit him with that because we didn't see him sell no drugs to anybody, and he don't have no drugs on him. I mean, he had a knife and a gun, so. I mean, we got another gun off the street. Okay. Call for a transport unit for him. And we'll be on our way. Just, we'll probably do like one more call. We're going to go to like a different area. Go back to like a different area. Go, you know what I'm saying? Then go from there. Alright, y'all. We got this drug dealer right here. He loitering on the street. So he loitering. So we basically, what the catch is, we're trying to catch him in an act of him trying to sell drugs to like his customer. So when his customer come, we're gonna arrest the customer. So once they make the transaction, if he don't have the drugs on him, if we catch the customer with the uh, drugs that he got, we're gonna uh. We're gonna definitely sell. We're gonna catch them, catch both of them. So, oh, there they go, there they go, there they go, there they go. We're gonna catch them. Five eighteen, the transaction occurred. We about to get the perpetrators. All right, let's get him. Put your hands up. Come here. Don't move, bro. Don't move. You're in our rest. Alright, we're gonna get him. No! Damn, I gotta I gotta get him, bro. Man, my partner had to start shooting, man. I can't let him get away. Bro, this is shit I be talking about. There's always some shit going on. I'm trying to catch him. Alright, I gotta get my taser. I gotta get him. He the dude in the hoodie. I can't let him get away. Man, my partner is always some shit happening, man. Bro, I can't let this dude get away, bro. See, this shit I be talking about. Bro, he gone so far, bro. I'ma catch him, I'ma catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Damn, who's at him? I gotta shoot him. Put that gun down, bro. Put that gun down. Put that gun down. You're on the rush. 95G. 14, I got the perpetrator at gunpoint. He got a 95G. That's my main focus. He got his gun right here. That's, that's his gun. 95G. 95G. You thought you was slick, huh, bro? You thought she was gonna get away, huh? Alright, my partner got him. So, we're gonna get him back to the scene. And we're going to uh, get, hopefully. Okay, see, my partner kind of messed it up a little bit. He kind of messed it up, but. We're gonna, um. We're gonna get back to the scene. We got the gun from him. He was the one that was selling the drugs. We caught him in the act of drug selling. Bro, my partner is still shooting. Come on, partner. All right, so we got him. Bro, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> my partner probably shooting at some other dudes. You thought you was gonna get away, huh, bro? Request a code two backup. All 
All right, bro. You got the gun on you, bro. I know you got the gun on you, bro. You got anything else illegal on you, bro? Don't effing touch me, you effing prick, bro. You going to jail, bro. So check this out. I'm officer some with the New Orleans Police Department task force, all right? Seven district task force. Me and my partner observe you uh, selling drugs to that man over there. Now, I want you to be honest with me, all right? Can you tell me what's going on, bro? Can I let you know you're under arrest, bro? Um, what exactly are you doing in this area? Damn, why are you effing harassing me? Because me and my partner observe you selling drugs to that individual over there. So we got both of y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all caught, man. We got both of y'all. You been in trouble with the police before? I've been arrested for an rage possession of drugs. So you, so you, you not new to the, you not new to it. Are you aware of any outstanding warrants? Okay, so what we gonna do is um check for the narcotics. All right, I will ask you some serious questions, bro. So are you dealing or are you just using drugs? I don't do drugs. F you f accuse me for. Okay, bro. So what's the so be honest with me, bro? So can you tell me who the weapon belongs to? I am invoked in my rights, okay. So does a weapon have a gun permit? I thought this permit worked to fall firearms. Well, I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Y'all pat him down. Cause he did shoot the gun at me, so he'll be charged with aggravated assault of firearm and attempt murder on a police officer. Ah, uh, so the pistol he got a pistol with a scratch up serial number. So get a pet check on Lance Rodriguez. Lights of Adam at the warrants. Wait, let me check again. He had a pistol with a scratch up serial number. And he had uh it appears he had uh Yeah, that was it. The pistol with scratch up serial number, the gun that, that was used in the crime. All right, bro. Do you have anything illegal on you? Perhaps I have some. What are you doing? Just hanging around? Okay. I'm going to ask you some serious questions, bro. So don't lie to me. I want you to be honest with me. Were you aware that this is a high crime area? No. I had no clue, sir. Okay. So be honest with me. Are you just using drugs? Now I just like to get high, okay? So be honest with me, when was the last time you used drugs? I smoked the best shit in San Andreas, okay? What narcotics have you taken recently? Some pills. God said they was E. Oh my God, I should have not done that, okay? So I'm thinking ecstasy pills. All right. So, we'll see, bro. So who do the narcotics belong to? They ain't mine. I ain't holding them. I'm just holding them for my girlfriend. Okay. So you basically just buying drugs for your girlfriend, huh? All right. I'm going to pat you down. So my sergeant right here, she's watching. She's observing. So he, ah, that's what he got. So he has a small bag of crack cocaine and a pistol. You got illegal cam, bro. Both of y'all going to jail. Y'all both going to jail. So he had the. So you sold him the crack cocaine. So we got the. Uh, we got the cocaine on him and stuff. So your boy. We gonna do a, a weapons check. The uh. Nineteen eleven. 1911 pistol and it is stolen so he will be charged with possessing a stolen firearm your boy had the Glock pistol alright both of y'all had the right to remain solid 
Anything y'all say can will be used against y'all in the court of law. Y'all both have the rights and the point of attorney. If y'all cannot afford the court, will appoint one for y'all. You understand y'all rights? So y'all gonna be charged. So, we're gonna put the charges in. Attempted murder of a police officer. Plus, his, uh, his, uh, supplier, Alexander Forrest, was charged with possession of a drug paraphernalia, illegal possession of a firearm, possession of a concealed firearm, and possession of a stolen firearm. So, those are their charges. And it appears that they're shooting. So, we're gonna let them transport them. Hey, y'all need to come. So they're gonna transport him to Central Lockup. He's the main one. And we're gonna transport him out as well, so. All right, we're gonna tell him to go. He's another drug dealer too. I gotta do a drug dealer episode next. Get out of here. So this is pretty much gonna do it for today's episode, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Um, stay tuned for more episodes and stuff, guys. I will do like another patrol episode. I'll probably do like a SWAT team episode too. And help me reach my goal, guys. Help me reach up to more subscribers and stuff. I need more. I need this channel to like grow. So if you enjoy my videos, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing my videos. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Okay? See you guys till next time. Peace out.